Hello everybody, and welcome back to Toman Another World. Last time, we went off on our first route, fought some trainers, and did our first sort of mini-boss battle with Aya. So there is a few things that I did not mention before, that I figured I might as well go over just because it's there. I mentioned that there wasn't much of a point of going here, but we might as well, um look at the newspaper at least once. I don't want an explanation because it talks about there maybe being side quests or something, but um, there are none. There's really nothing to the newspaper. There is some backstory in it, I guess. Banka Battle Tournament officially announced. Recently, Jinsoko has switched from using spell cards to using Banka to settle duels. So now, a tournament to decide Jinsoka's number one Bonka battler has been announced. The original proposer of the tournament was the yokai, Yukari Yakumo. We asked the person herself why she decided to open such a tournament. Holding such a tournament would be more interesting than not, you see. Besides, it's not me working on the preparations. The yokai population's reaction to the tournament has been good. Lines like, this sounds interesting and I want to join, have been heard everywhere. The expectations for this tournament have been ever increasing. The details of the tournament have not yet been re uh, realized, but any new information we find will be announced in the article in the next issue. Reporter, Shaya Miyamaro Aya. So, yeah, that's all that's available. There will be one other article available later that we might get to reading. So, as for why we can't take this route and we went up instead, the bridge is out right now, so you can't go to the west. That's a pretty simple explanation. Though, they don't give any explanation for why the bridge is out. It's just another one of those roadblocks. Also, something I didn't pick up last time. I love fishing for all of my life. Do you love fishing too? Well, obviously yes. Who doesn't love sitting there for three hours only to do nothing? Wonderful, we think so much alike. I will give this to you, so go catch a big one. Mayro received old rod from the fisherman. Fishing is the best hobby ever, whether at sea or at a river. Feel free to use that fishing rod wherever you like. So, in the original Pokemon games, the old rod could only catch Magikarps. However, in this game, Magikarp is replaced by the Bonka Sihina. Which is actually a fairly good one, but it's not something that I want quite yet. Uh, actually, that is not the place I want to be. There is something I want to do, and so I'll be right back when I've accomplished that. Literally the first battle I come into. Alright. Let me bubble here. So, you may be wondering why am I just randomly fighting this chin? And... Why... I said that it was the first battle, I was so excited. We actually wanted to catch that. I'll be right back. So, here we are, up against a Seachin, level 4, and you may be wondering why I'm hurt. That's actually because of, 
I tried catching another sea chin, which is what we're planning on doing here, catching this one, and I one shot with a crit. Thankfully, I used tackle this time, so it's not getting one shot, even though I got another crit. And this chin is two levels lower than the other one, but it'll still do. One of the Nekotama and Jinsoko, Chin's primary ability is Black Magic. No, we'll not give it a nickname. So I figured we might as well, before heading off, talk about our party. So, for me, I was thinking about my party and what I wanted to catch. And I always wanted to catch new Pokemon or Bonka every single time I go through a new playthrough. However, I figure since I've already used most of the good ones, and since balance is not this game's strong point, if I used ones that I have not used in any other playthrough, we'd be left with very weak ones, and it'd be much harder to complete the game. And for the sake of the Let's Play, I'm going to be capturing and putting in my party the strongest Bonka that I can get as soon as I can catch them. Chin here is decently strong. It's incredibly fast and has a good attack stat. At least a decent attack stat. So we're going to be training it up and using it for a little while, until at least we can get something better. So, I'm going to go train it up to a decent level, and then I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Um, so, as you can see, I trained my chin up to level 7. And, uh... Star Sapphire did gain one more level. Now Chin knows Quick Attack. And even though it is a bit lower level, we do have some more uh, battles coming up here that we can use to get some more EXP. Now, as he just mentioned, this trainer, I didn't read his name. Ooh, that's not good. Um... Yes, Bonka can evolve. Just like Pokemon, if you know about Pokemon. And so here, so previously, all the names of our characters, the Bonka, had a C in front of them. C stands for Chibi, and which means little. Whereas this uh, uh, Lily White right here, not only looks different, but does not have the C. That's because it's the second stage of evolution, and... This is great luck, actually. You can see now how powerful Paralysis is. I don't believe it has an item, but I'm not actually holding an item. So, if it did have an item, I would have been able to steal it right there. And that'll take care of that Lily White. As you can see, Evolved Bonka give much more EXP when defeated. So, I guess mentioning that, I should mention the stages of Bonka. As I mentioned, there's the C or Chibi, which is the stage 1, or like the lower level evolutions. They have, when they evolve, they lose the C and just become their character's name. Then after that, they become E, or extra level. As well as those other stages that you could uh, get using stones. Uh, stone evolutions, such as Moonstone or Sunstone. Which would be the Advent, or A, in Final, or F. As well as certain Bonka have special stages only to them, such as P, uh, Riggle, which is Princess Riggle, and then G... Mystia, which is Goth Mystia. Later on, we'll talk about L, where it being the last word level, and then Z, which is just Z level. And we'll actually be seeing one of those in a while from now. So for now, I don't know why I got in this battle, but we need to head on up this route, and let's say we fight this trainer. Eerie, last Eerie. Her chin's 
higher level in mind, so I'm just going to switch out, go to my Star Sapphire, who of course has a type advantage. Though I did get crit, which is not fun. I still should be able to take this thing out in two bubbles, due to the fact that bubbles are super effective. So I'm going to keep switching back out to Chin, because every single time a new bunker comes out, any bunker that's fighting it gets EXP, whether or not it actually did any fighting. So that's why I'll be switching in Chin, so it can keep gaining EXP. Nice, that's level 8. And since we have um, level 8 with slow late, let's try it out. Of course, Chin's attack stat at the start isn't very high. It's mostly its speed stat that's great. So these growls actually aren't affecting me since 1 divided by 2 is still calculated as 1 due to the fact that there are no half numbers in this game. That's another Miko Orb, and actually I need to heal, so I'll be right back. So here we are, we're back. In case you were wondering why the music was all messed up and I was running super fast, I actually had the speed on times two because I'm running this game on emulator. I don't think you can actually run it on anything other than emulator. And that's an option that I had, which I used for grinding faster. But I'd rather not use that for actual gameplay as the having sped up gameplay seems very not fun and defeats the point of playing a game. Okay, I just checking if my Marissa had picked up another item. Since the item that I was actually holding that I believed was an Ornberry was actually a Rostberry since I used my Ornberry previously. Rossberry being a berry that when held will cure burn immediately after being burned. However, we have no use for it as there's nothing that can burn us quite yet. We haven't run to that size condition. Level 9 already. As you can see, Chin gains levels decently fast. So, yeah, our Star Sapphire is going to be lagging behind even Chin here. Despite the fact that Chin was four levels below it when we first caught it. And of course you can start seeing at this point just how powerful Chin is when it gets some levels under its belt. And of course Chin will only begin stronger once it gets actually good moves. But for now, we just need to keep on doing more battles to get more experience. Oh, Lily White's sure are a pain to deal with. I much prefer dealing with Cherno. You can take it out much quicker, even if it is a bit stronger. 
Oh no, I forgot. Powder Snow Bean, the Ice type, is super effective against Ground type, which is what Chin is. And there goes Chin. However, we still do have our nice Star Sapphire, who can hit this thing with the bubble. Oh my. Oh, a new bunker here. See Rumia. Dark type. It's nothing really of note. We'll be seeing different forms of this one later on that are incredibly scary, but for now, it just has a lot of HP, just like Lily White, but overall, is not a threat. Though it's lick. It is rather, rather um, annoying as it can inflict paralysis. I'm going to have to bring in Marissa here to finish this off. Even though Marissa is already a bit over leveled. I think Ian we're probably going to be spending a lot of this early game just having Marissa barge through everything with its really good power currently. As I mentioned, I've already used the other two starters. Neither of them could actually do it as much as Marissa's doing right now. So Marissa does seem to be the strongest starter. Of course, since uh, we just lost our chin and uh, we got some of our bunker really injured, we might as well go back and heal. Or not. What does this guy have? Oh, Mei Ling. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. Just, Marissa, you take all the experience, become level 50 before anything else becomes level 10. That's fine. Mei Ling there, that we just obliterated and we're about to obliterate another one of, is fighting type. And... Uh, it has good attack, kind of lackluster speed, and really abysmal special defense, so Marissa has no problem taking care of it, though it does have good defense. Alright, now we're going to go back and heal. So, I decided after that little uh, run back to the bunker center to go heal. that would be better if we just made our way to the next village, skipping by in each uh, of these battles that we can, and just trying to get to the next bunker center so we could heal over there and then come back to these fights when we want to instead of just having to run all the way back that very long journey. Oh, water does resist ice, but sadly not immune to being frozen. And a crit. RNG just really doesn't like us today. But then again, that icicle fall only hit two times, so that is good luck. I would like to be unfrozen though. Pretty please? Oh. Wow. Just when I was saying we had good luck at gaining that too, now it hits five. In case you don't know, Icicle Fall could hit anywhere between two to five times. So we did get the minimum, and then just got the maximum. And again, uh, we aren't 
handling this freeze very well. Normally you thaw out a defrost fairly quickly. At least we actually defrosted this time. Though I'm not sure if this thing doesn't use something other than growl or an icicle fall that hits not very hard if we'll actually be able to take it down. If we got a speed lower, we might be able to outspeed it for the last hit. Uh oh. As long as it doesn't freeze, this might actually be good for us. Or it can crit. Now sending in Ch Chin here is a suicidal idea. Chin can't take a hit. However, that's not what we're trying to do. We're hoping it uses Growl or Tackle. But it used neither of those, so Chin is most likely going to get one shot here. Oh no, Chin took it. Congratulations, Chin. And Chin reached level 10. Now I do believe there is at least one unschooled battle between this, between here and the next uh, Bonka Center, so I'm gonna run back all the way back and then go heal and come back here. So as it turns out, we might have been able to skip that last battle by going over here and picking up this Orin Berry. Uh, oh, let's just run from this real quick. It's another Chin. It always is five levels higher, so I'd say it's a little bit better. And as you can see, that was the battle we just did. Now we have the Northern Road. Scarlet Devil Mansion ahead, Human Village behind. So here we have a potion. That's nice, free potions are always welcome. And actually, since our chin is already such high level, we might as well get another level on our Star Sapphire since it's so close. Now let's see, what does this nameless fairy have? See Lily Black, that should be fine. As long as it just uses Endure, our Star Sapphire should be in no danger whatsoever. Oh, even if it uses an attacking move, it still doesn't seem to hit very hard. And we do much more damage. So this last bubble should do it, and we should get all level up that we wanted. 115 EXP, decent amount, and we finally hit level 10. So now up next we have Cherno. Now I'm not going to bring in Chin against Cherno, because as you saw last time, it could do a good 80%, maybe even 90%, I don't remember exactly what it was. Two chin and a single attack. And Powder Snow being weaker than hitting at least three or four parts of Icicle Fall. Though, we did get lucky there. As I mentioned, Bubble did have a chance to lower speed, and this is the first time we've actually seen that. So that means we finally get to attack first versus this Cherno. Which is handy. And this is really unlucky. As I said, Powder Snow is not any different than any other ice move with a chance to freeze, having only a 10% chance. And this is the third time we've been frozen. However, thankfully, it just keeps getting faster when we defrost. So that's finally that Cherno down. And we can move on. I believe there's one more battle. And we seem healthy enough to take it on before getting to the next town. Being the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Not really a town. But I think you know what I mean. It's rare to see a human come this far. Yeah, I figure most humans wouldn't want to go to a place named the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Oh! I didn't expect this. This is Kokuma. 
Uh, it's a psychic type. And, like a lot of psychic types, Kokuma is very, very strong with its psychic type moves and hits hard. Thankfully, at this low level, Kokuma, all it can do is raise its defenses and hit us with pound. Which is the same thing as, you know, scratch or tackle. So, we shouldn't have to worry. Also, it is weak to dark, so if we did come across a strong Kokuma that could take out Chin, we'd always have Marissa in the back. As I mentioned, crits do go through those defense raises, however, we weren't really able to see that as uh, it was already going to die from that crit, regardless of if it had its defenses raised or not. As mentioned, Mei Ling has less than superb special defense, so actually Sea Star, Star Sapphire will be pretty good here. Uh, better than Mei Ling, do the fact better than uh, Chin, do the fact that Mei Ling has rather high defenses. And thankfully, despite Mei Ling's high attack, it's not actually doing that much, and because of its really low speed, even Star Sapphire here actually outspeeds it. So I believe that is the last, oh nope, one last battle against another Nameless Fairy, and then we'll be fine to go on. Uh oh, more melings. I'm going to attempt to fight this with Chin. See how successful I am. The answer is not. I'm switching out immediately. Marissa seems to have picked up another item with its pickup ability, so we'll check that out right after we finish here. Though, actually, we just saw Mei Ling use a new move Focus Energy. That doubles your chance of critting. Which is somewhat pretty helpful. But not really, since it takes a full turn to do it, you need to get multiple crits to make it worth it. And of course, we were the one that got a crit instead. How ironic. So with that, we're going to look at that item first, I guess. We want to give as much time for Musa to pick up something new as possible. Peacher Berry. This one cures poison. I haven't mentioned it yet, but burn is a status that, unlike freeze, which keeps you from moving, or paralyzes, which has a chance to keep you from moving and lowers your speed, burn does damage. About 12% of your HP every turn, as well as it halves your attack, which can be crippling to physical attackers. However, it only halves your physical attack, so. You don't have to worry if you're a special attacker. And then poison, which the peach berry that we just picked up cures. There's two types of poison actually that um, can be inflicted. Normal poison does 12% of your HP um, every single turn and actually hurts you outside of battle. I don't know for how much. And then, um, Badly Poison starts off at 6% of your HP, and then doubles to 12%, then 24%, and so on, and so on. And Outside the Battle does the same amount of damage when walking. Now then, I think we've actually, uh, come a long ways here. We've made it all the way to Scarlet Devil Mansion, that was our pit stop. Next time we're gonna make our way into it, but we're gonna have to get through a Gatekeeper first. So, until next time... See ya.